C10 Talk, episode 280, kind of. I'll explain it. A little Barrett bonus, but I'm just going to lump them in, but usually I put all the interviews into one pod, and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to break them up. So I want to see how that goes. So instead of putting nine interviews and making it over an hour, I'm going to break it up into three, three, and three. Uh, I'm going to lump them all into episode 280, and uh, we'll just see. We'll see how it goes. You guys let me know what you think, and if you're like, yeah, that's uh, I like it. You know, when we go to shows, I grab seven, eight, nine interviews. Maybe I can just start dumping them quick, so one and twos instead of the whole thing, and then that makes it a little easier to listen to. So we went up to Barrett-Jackson. It was a lot of fun, some very high-end builds, and then a lot of those guys that were actually in the cup they left and went over to uh, GNRS, which is the Grand National Roaster Show, and then they got some hardware there. So they've had a really good few weeks uh, over the last few weeks because they got to go to Barrett. They got invited to the Cup. Some people won some awards, made the top five, got the ribbon, then went on over to GNRS and kicked ass over there. First round, we're going to have Brian Val, no stranger to the pod. He's had an amazing whirlwind over the last few months from – SEMA, his second stint at SEMA, then to the get down, and then the, the cup. So uh, what a run Brian's had with that crew cab dually. Love that thing, bankrupt. Awesome, awesome build. Then we've got uh, Alfredo, a.k.a. Freddy, from Drive Auto Collision. I think he calls the truck Mystique, but he doesn't really bring it up much, but it's an amazing truck. Uh, it debuted at Get Down, I think, at 22, but they've done a lot to it. So we've got a little interview with him. And then Sean from SBMG, which is Specialty Blend Motor Garage, and they've got a killer 72 K10 that they've got on a modern-style chassis that they provide, and that ended up selling in, uh, at auction on Saturday night for 300 k So they were pretty stoked. So we'll get into these three, and then again, I'll do, a, I guess, a 280.2 and a 280.3, and then you guys just let me know if you like it that way, if you don't, and we'll just kind of figure it out, all right? Another thing I wanted to mention, you guys jump on over to IG if you haven't seen it, but I did a live on Monday the 29th, so Monday after Barrett, over Reaction Monday, and it was really good to get some feedback from different people that were bidding, different people that were selling, different people that were buying. They tuned in. A lot of different information. The guy that uh, had the 67 that went for 300000 um, there was a guy that uh, kind of represented the seller. He knew the seller. He was kind of a builder. And he was saying, hey, yeah, that guy just, he had to have it. He wanted it. And he kind of saw that. So it just gives a different insight to everything. So if you go over to C Ted Talk IG, January 29th, there's a, again, a, probably almost an hour and a half live that uh, is really good when it comes to some of this auction stuff and different perspectives. So you guys can check that one out as well. Uh, 279, jumping back to how to build and modify with uh, Jim Pickering. When I had Jim on the pod, I ran it by him. I said, hey, let's see if we can't get a discount code. So he talked to his publisher, and they made it happen. So if you are interested in these books, you're building a truck, buying, building, selling, modifying, whatever it is you're doing, all CarTech books are going to be 20% off. So that's a, that's a huge benefit to you. Now, that only runs through April 30th, and you got to use code C10TALK. So cartechbooks.com, C10TALK, you put that code in, no space, and you're going to save 20% on, uh, you know, adding to your library there. So help out Jim and Kevin Whips and Kevin Tates, uh, all previous guests that have books published, uh, different perspectives of the build. Uh, for our trucks and our passion and our hobby. So again, CarTech Books, C10 Talk gets you 20% off through April 30th. Another thing, if you guys have been noticing, but we've been putting a lot of these interviews on YouTube. So these interviews will be going up on YouTube as well. So when we're there uh, interviewing, for example, Brian, Freddie, and Sean, those interviews, those videos are on YouTube jump over there. That's Truck Talk Media. Truck Talk Media is the page for YouTube. Another thing, so some shows coming up. You've got uh, LST coming up a couple of weeks here. That's going to be a good one. We've got the reunion. We're sold out. We've got a lot of good things we're working on there. 
And then another thing is the slowdown just opened their registration. That's over in Cali, down in San Luis Obispo. And that uh, that show opened up registration. I believe they haven't sold out. I'm sure they will. So if you're thinking about it, that's July like 26th and 27th. It is a two-day show. And they did open up their registration. So jump on over if you haven't registered for that one. All right, guys, let me know what you think about doing it this way. Ronnie at trucktalkmedia.com. It's that easy. Let me know if you like it. Again, we'll just do three, three, and three. I'll drop the next few in a couple days. And then a few days after that, I'll drop the final three. And you guys can let me know if you like it or not. Either way, I can do it both ways. Just kind of uh, spreading the love out. All right, let's jump into it. Brian, Sean, and Freddie, thank you guys so much again for taking your time. We do appreciate it. For you guys out there, C10 Nation, enjoy the pod. Late. Hey guys, let me tell you about LMC Truck. Keeping generations on the road. Think about that. It's pretty deep. So whether your truck was handed down or something you went out and bought, odds are you were handed a bunch of paperwork, maybe a folder. In that folder was probably the catalog. You know the one the most up-to-date and detailed catalog available today. It's like an encyclopedia for our trucks. Their website is just as detailed and informative. LMCTruck.com. LMCTruck.com. So whether you're restoring old memories or creating new ones, LMC Truck is here to help. They're more than just a parts company. They truly understand the lifestyle and passion of owning a classic truck. So get out there and get to work on your truck and know that LMC is here to help. You can get online lmctruck.com and order your free catalog today. Keeping generations on the road. lmctruck.com Let me tell you what Melbourne Post is packing right here. All right, we've got 411 Posi Track out back, 750 double pumper, Edelbrock intake, scored over 30, 11 to 1 pop up pistons, turbo jet, 390 horsepower. We're talking some fucking muscle. What does that do? Does that blow your mind? That just happened. Welcome to C10 Talk, your C10 truck podcast. And now I have a chance to be the best, maybe the best in the world. My old man is a television repairman. Got this ultimate set of tools. I can fix it. I said I got 50 cents in that dude box, and all I can hear is your mouth flapping. Did you hear that? Here's your host, Ronnie Wetch. What's up, what's up? Hey, guys, I got Brian Val. We've got the 1974 C30 bankrupt, the one, the only, Brian, uh, SEMA 2022, SEMA 2023, and now we're here. You made it to the uh, Barrett-Jackson Cup. I remember just a few, I don't know, months ago, you did a post of just all the things from the Get Down t-shirt to the Cup to yeah. SEMA. Um, man, this truck does not disappoint. No, dude, this, this truck is, it, it just blows me away all the time. I had the guys at Trey 5 build the truck because um, it's something that's always been in my head that I've wanted to do for a long time. And there was a lot of things that I wanted to make sure that we did that were just super cool. And for me, over the top, maybe not for everybody, but for me, over the top. And I think we nailed all that. And, man, it's I just I, I, I just I can't say enough about the truck and everybody who had a hand in building it because it's just it's to me the coolest truck that I've ever had for sure. So, you know. yeah, what a team. Right. So I candy Frank paints it. Jeremy, Trey 5. Uh, again, don't sell yourself short it's still your vision sure. and your plan you've got the porter built chassis uh -huh. you got the cummins motor the allison transmission one thing we talked about just before we went on air there a little bit was just kind of that shakedown you've had you know a little over a year to shake it all down work through it has that been fun? Do you ever get exhausted with that and just finishing that last 10%? No, I don't ever get exhausted with it. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it's fun either, um, but it's just that, you know, it, you build their custom trucks, right? So they never, custom trucks are exactly that word, custom. So they're never a thousand percent right out of the chute. So you've always got stuff you have to fix. And, or I shouldn't say fix, but make it work correctly. Yeah. So um, like the Allison transmission's fully electronic. The Cummins 6BT is all manual. 
and so there's nothing to talk to it. So we're fighting through that a little bit right now. We've almost got it dialed in. Jason at Big Ten is really helping me get that going right now because he's a, you know, he's he's the best guy there is at that kind of stuff. Um, but other than that, just all the little the little things, you know, hey, is the rack strong enough? Is the power steering pressure right? Is this right? You know, so just all those little things that you don't think of when you, you know, they don't they don't just slap together and work like they should. But I think we've got pretty much all that stuff hammered out. Now we just got a couple little things left to do the transmission to get it to be a hundred percent happy. And then, uh, this thing's going to be rocking and rolling a hundred percent. Not that it is in our, we've already driven it, I don't know, 2,500 miles or whatever, but, uh, you know, it's had some battle wounds already. We've had to fix them and it is what it is. We knocked the fender off of it going to SEMA this year and had to get that fixed in one day. And you know, it just is what it is. So, well, and it is what it is, right? So I think you guys, it's been a great story because you really worked your ass off and get it to SEMA 2022. Uh, you're in South Hall, which probably, yeah, South Hall, which yeah. wasn't the best. And then you came back this year. You got in Central Hall in Precision Replacement Booth, uh, you know, showcasing their wing window setups. Uh, but you got a lot more action in that booth. So you got a lot, it felt like a lot more love, which yeah. was, which was deserved in my opinion. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it did. You know I mean? We did, um, even in 22, amazingly enough, we did really well, even being over there in the hole after we were supposed to be up front. Um, but our, you know, Acura dropped out a couple weeks before, but we did, but we did really well both years. And so it was really cool of Derek with precision to ask us back and, you know, for him to think enough of our vehicle to bring it back. And so, you know, that was super cool it was, it was my first time having a vehicle in central hall. Um, we took Mickey Suburban a few years back and it was out front in the Acura Corral, but it was a first for me, for my personal vehicle. So that was super cool. You know, yeah, I tell you what, if you ever build a vehicle, whether it's a truck, whether it's a car, a Volkswagen, I don't care. And you say, what, what can I do? Uh, magazine cover, SEMA, Barrett Jackson. You've done it all with this truck. You literally have done it all with this truck. I don't, is there anything you haven't done? I, I don't know. I mean, and not that we like set out to, hey, this is what we're going to do. But, you know, these opportunities come up and it, and it gets chosen to go. And, and I'm just blown away every time that we get that we get chosen, you know, to be chosen as one of the 50 people that come into the cup. I thought was a was a huge win in itself. Uh, whether or not we get a top five or people's choice doesn't really matter. We're here out of 50 vehicles. And I don't know how many they had apply, but I mean we're in some we're in some crazy tall company here. So it's just cool to be a, amongst this crowd. So well, and one of the things is being on the cover, or I should say, on the T-shirt, the get down, the 13th annual. This face and his truck were both on it, um, and having Yellowstone on there a few b years back. That was an immense honor. So yeah. I, I know that that as well is, yeah, is a huge honor. Having Dino choose me to be on the, the get down shirt was just, I, I just blew me away. And he, you know, he called me up pretty much right away after we got this truck at SEMA 2022. And he was like, Hey, I've already got the artwork done for this year, but next year I want to put your truck on the shirt. And I was like, Shh, you're not going to hear me argue, man. Like I was, I was stoked for him to do that. So when you look back over your journey and you look back this, you know, let's just say two year journey at this point. Would you do anything different uh, with the truck, with the experience of the rollout? Was there something that you learned a lot and you're like, I might have changed that up? You know, honestly, the, the only thing that I would change and not that, not that there's anything wrong with what it is. I originally, my plan was to put a Duramax and an Allison in it. And I think that at, at the time it, it sounded like a more daunting task to do the Duramax because it's all electronic and everything else. But had I just stuck to my guns on that, it actually would have made a easier swap. Because of the Allison. Because, because of the Allison and because it had all the electronics for it to talk to and everything like that. So if I had to do that over again, I would have stuck with my my guns and done the Duramax. So I think the, the solution, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but when you have that electronic transmission, having the electronic controller with the motor is probably better. And when you go with a, whether it's a 12 or a 24 valve, going with like an NV4500, yep. something that's more of a standard transmission, because you're going to run into problems. It's packaged up and meant to work together. If you can get that entire thing and drop it in and make it fit, that you're going to be miles ahead. Eat your Wheaties, do your push-ups, listen to your mom, and be a good guy. And that's really what happens here. Brian is a great guy. He's an ambassador for the C10 Club Arizona. He's always doing stuff for us locally here. Works hard, cares about the scene. I've got a saying that's just as easy as this. You're either given or taken to the scene. And Brian is constantly given. And we're very happy that he's getting as much praise and love you are for your, your 1974 C30 bankrupt. Thanks for taking time to spend with us here today. Good luck. And uh, we hope that uh, everybody sees it and loves it the way that we do as well. Awesome, man, thanks. It's always an honor for you to come over and talk to me, man. 100%. Thanks, man. Awesome. Late. Back at the cup. I tell you, we're, we're spoiled here. Alfredo uh, Drive Auto Collision. Make sure I say that Correct. right. 
Uh, we first got to interview you at Dino's Get Down 2022. You debuted this truck. What have you been doing in that time with this truck? Because now you're in the Bear Jackson Cup. We're in the back room and uh, kind of the back hall area. And this is just, I mean, you're surrounded by greatness. It's got to be an honor to be out here. Yeah, it's a uh, winner row. You know, we're sh sharing the spot with a bunch of uh, great builders, experienced builders. Uh, the the momentum that this truck took since 2022, it's evolved also into a pro touring truck. When you guys saw it, you know, it had some off the shelf wheels. We're waiting on our custom weight wheels to put it out on the track. 2023 May Texas uh, C10 Nationals, we debuted the truck for the pro touring. Uh, stance that we had and we took some laps we did good we ended up uh, going back to Utah as well won a championship there and everything there's been just fun 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 and you know taking out on the track TCI chassis forge line wheels you got the wheels you got the Dodge blue paint the thing really stands out yes it does it makes a big contrast with uh, with with the tobacco interior that we have in there it's from Apex uh, they've been helping us up over the years. Chris also with his glass, you know, it's his his support to us has always been unconditional since 2018. Yeah, you guys built the Camaro. You got Apex leather. You've got Hunter and Jen uh, helping you out. You know, obviously their stuff is second to none. You got the tobacco color, and then you got the Dodge paint, the Fessler glass. The Fessler glass is cool because it's it's one of those things where we still see so many C10s with weather stripping, and then when you see it with the uh, you know the flush glass you're like oh wow that really stands out yeah it takes it up a notch and modernizes the truck you know most of the time we're trying to do a rest of mod so we're trying to achieve that look you know we're trying to stand a little bit away from what the traditional is we love the trucks traditional but you know we're just trying to be different take it on the track you know make just basically show everybody that this truck can handle a track like a corvette would do any day what do you think when you go from the get down 2022 to all the way, you know, a year, year and a half later now, um, what's been the shakedown on that? When you have went through everything, because if I remember at the get down, it was like, it was, you know, it was almost like fresh paint. It was fresh paint. Uh, we've all, I mean, the truck, like I told you again, it's evolved into a pro touring truck. You guys got to see how the truck looked before. It was more like a cruiser, a street truck. Uh, they just being around you guys, being around the builders, being around all the C10 fans and around the C10 community, that's just what makes the difference. You know, the experience and, and getting that momentum going with the people, meeting new people every other show. You know, yeah. just hanging around with cool people all the time. He's hanging out with Rod Parsons with the uh, fiberglass C10. So he's living life large over here. You guys are trading shop secrets. What do you think stands out? What do people, what draws them in? The wheels, the paint, the interior, the motor, the, the, the race truck appeal. What, what's really drawing them into your truck? I think it's the stance, you know, that it has. You know, it's squared all around. You know, it's uh, well dialed into where the wheels are matching all the way around. You know, the wheels are not in or not out. You know, they're all matching. Uh, the modern look that makes it just like like rods you know his his truck is amazing you know it's a lot of hours it's a lot of commitment a lot of money as well uh, the craftsmanship on the fabricators you know fabricating molds and and it's not going to happen from one day to another yeah. you know it's 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 just a commitment and dedication to a build what's next for you guys in the truck just more racing we're going to do some more racing uh th this year and we're hoping to have our uh they view our K5 Blazer at uh, C10 Nationals. Okay, what year is that? It's a 70. And uh, it's a Pro Touring. Pro Touring 70 K5 Blazer. So I was just going to ask you, so you went with the Camaro, now you've got the 1970 truck, and now you've got a uh, converted two-wheel drive Blazer? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about that. Oh, uh, that's going to be basically what you see here, but just, you know, different color, different scheme. Uh, hopefully we can add the two seats so we can have ride-alongs, you know, enjoy the rides. C10 Nationals, you know, it's always fun time for everybody you go out on the track you get a line sign up the waiver and you know you're ready to rock and up any of the drivers are always willing to give rights to people what do you think about barrett jackson being invited to the cup and uh you know this experience i mean it's an honor you know we have riddler award winners grade eight we have uh the elite six i mean there's all kinds of you know big hitters, hard hitters here, you know, that we're getting to hang around with, you know, it's not just didn't happen overnight. It, it went over from the beginning of 2023. I'm, you know, till now. And it's not easy. So 
you're selected, you were selected in, in really a unique way, which is really kind of cool, a fan favorite for the TMI interior, but because it was a vote on, you've got to feel even specialer because the people voted on your truck and that's how you got here. Correct. So the support again, you know, as, as when I found out that we won that award, the biggest community out there is the C10 community. You know, the support we're going to get at SEMA, you, there's no more C10s. You know, I knew I was going to win that, yeah. you know, shared it out and everybody just passed it along and it just blew up and became, you know, uh, viral. We keep telling you, the trucks are cool, but the people are cooler. It's guys like this that keep building rad stuff. Allow us to come out. We love your truck. We can't wait to see you put it to the pavement more in 2024. Thanks for taking your time to always spend it with us. We appreciate it. The truck looks awesome. Definitely. Appreciate you guys. Late. Hey, guys. Are you thinking about swapping out your old motor for a more reliable LSLT-based power plant? Behind each PSI harness, you get over 10 years of experience in the business, online tech support, phone support, and harnesses made in the U.S. That's PSIconversion.com. Need C10 parts? Well, here at Pro, we actually have trucks. We build them, we drive them, and we deal with them every day. It's just part of who we are. We carry the best products for your truck project from the major name brands such as QA1, React, Painless, Dakota, Belltech, Borgeson, Bear, and even more. Give us a call or check us out on the web. You've heard me talk about my gauges. Dakota Digital. I love them. Dakota Digital has the best gauges for our trucks. These kits are complete with sensors for any engine. They look just like the stock clusters, but have all the technology you'd expect from Dakota Digital. It's like a modern truck, but even better, in a classic. Dakota Digital is absolutely the best in aftermarket gauges, so check them out at dakotadigital.com. dakotadigital.com. Hey, guys. Rolling around here. Ran into Sean. If you've haven't been on social media in the last month you might not have seen this truck but post get down this truck has been everywhere they've got a couple really cool videos running through like the sand sean with sbmg so tell us about this truck and what you guys are offering our community yeah so uh it started out that you know finding parts that would fit a stock chassis you ended up spending so much time and and energy and money adapting things and so we decided to just uh, make a modern chassis that uses all of GM's uh, modern components. So you can use, you know, uh, upper lower control arms that are on the uh, 2020, you know, Silverado on these chassis. Now, naturally, we use uh, BDS Fox as our, you know, current partner. We also have a King uh, version. Uh, our 2.0 chassis is actually going to be capable of being a trophy truck. So you can start out with just a nice urban driver with a short stock, you know, stance uh, or you can outfit it with a mid or a long travel so the the chassis itself fits all of gm's components the motors drop in right slick as you know like they were meant to be because that's their chassis uh platform uh and then uh like i could take a a truck like this that's on a stock chassis finished and within a week have it swapped out like drop it off on a monday come back the next monday with one of our new chassis no mods to the you know cab or uh, radiator supports everything just fits the way it's supposed to so seems like when you do this type of adaptation your biggest thing is going to be your fuel cell what do you guys offer for that so we use uh, Rick's or Boyd's uh, fuel cells uh, jazz as well if you want a 32 gallon I think jazz makes a 32 gallon that fits in the back in place of the spare tire so if you got short bed doesn't fit a spare tire back there anyway so go with the jazz tank and you got 32 gallons what about motors you said that your chassis does a customer have to Say, hey, I want an LT1, I want an LS3, I want an LT4. You have the full spectrum. So you can stay with the LS3, you can do a Whipple Charge LS3, or go to the LT platform with a uh, LT1 or an LT4. But that's you offer that. If they don't want the motor, can they get it without a motor? You can get a chassis without a motor, yeah. And then you guys say, hey, th what are you going to run so they can have the right motor mounts and everything's correct? Yeah, the motor mounts are there. Yeah. yeah. So wh where's the story? Where's your history? Where are you guys from? Uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, just north of there, uh, Ogden. Yeah. But, like, what's the background in building chassis? You guys have just kind of come on our scene. What's the background in building chassis, and what's the history of SBMG? Yeah, yeah. so our fabricators come from uh, the monster truck world, so they, they know, and trophy truck. They saw what we were working on and building, and they're like, yeah, let's, let's do this. So 
this is all done in-house. So our CAD designs and everything are done in-house. We utilize GM's blueprints. So that's why everything fits. So you can basically take a, a modern Silverado and stick it on this chassis just like it would normally fit. And, you know, that, that we wanted it to be an easy way to transition from a really nice build, take any one of these that are here today, and modernize the chassis to handle 85 miles an hour on the freeway, taking corners, you know, and have a ride that feels like a uh, Cadillac. Yeah, modern technology is, is we're, we're so spoiled to take this kind of feature and then wrap it in the metal that we love. So with the four-wheel drive transfer case, what are you guys finding out works best for that situation? Well, the stock NP261 HD uh, transfer cases that are meant for those motors, they fit perfect. That's how they're meant to be on this chassis. So from the perspective of the wiring and the shift on the fly versus somebody who's got an MP205, what are you recommending for them to kind of work through all that? So you don't need an MP205. And again, if you're a hardcore MP205 guy, why there's adapters that make that fit. But we found that the MP261 or the, uh, I want to say the 306 numbers aren't quite there on the, but they, but they, but they actually are bulletproof. We haven't had any of them fail under almost a, over a thousand horsepower. <laughs> so they actually fit really good. And, and, uh, when you take a look at inside the shifter sits right on the hump where it's supposed to, or we have a knob shifter just below the, uh, headlight matches the knob and everything. So you can select two wheel drive. Um, we have a, a slammed all wheel drive version. So you can keep the C10 look, but when you want that hookup with an LT4, you just put it into four-wheel drive and off you go. It's perfect. So if you want all these upgrades, they offer it. Another question I would say is when you think about some of the different transfer cases, obviously transmission options, 8Ls, 10Ls. Now you got so many options. What are you guys recommending or what do you guys offer? We've, we've heard horror stories of guys with 8L90. So it's either a 6L80, 4L80, 6L80, or a 10L80. Mm-hmm. So the new modern 2019 and newer, you think about Ford and Chevy, whether you guys realize that that 10 speed is the way to go. These guys offer it. What other platforms do you guys offer? Uh, so you have the square bodies, uh, the trucks, the crew cabs, uh, blazers, even the suburbans. Uh, we have an HD chassis, so you can use a Duramax. You can throw, we've had Duramaxes in these. They actually fit beautifully. Like there's perfect clearance. Uh, and in square bodies, we have to modify the hood a little because they just are a little too low. But again, 3,500 or a 2,500 HD chassis with a 21,000 pound tow capacity sitting under one of these bodies. That's what we got. It's the dream truck, right? You get the modern tech with the, the look that we all love. Another thing that's unique about this truck, and I can't wait to see what this thing brings, but you guys went a little higher. So for example, like the RS Legend series, you're not going to go this high. What did you guys do to get what looks like a 33 or is it a 35? So the 35s, we've, we've used a four inch lift on this. Um, if this was on a modern Silverado, it would be a four inch, uh, in the rear. I think it's four in the front. It would be a, maybe a five or a six. It's adjustable. Um, and then we basically to keep it as low and fill the wheel. Well, we modified the fender. Right here in the front, it looks like it's the stock fender, but we've just bumped it out just a little bit, but kept all the contours. So get your tape measure out. It's going to look a little bit different uh, measurement wise, but visually it's no different. Well, the thing is a stunner. I think the stance actually even makes this thing even better. You did it right. The blue two-tone, the wood grain, the super, the, it's the complete package really is. And to think that you guys can get that right. So you take your old metal. And I think you're going to see a lot more of that. Mm -hmm. So you guys offer it. What's the cost and the build time? Like when somebody's thinking, hey, I've got a 72 truck. I've got this same thing. I want to build it. I got to, even if you guys have a two wheel drive, you can shorten it, make it a four wheel drive. The sky's the limit at this right. point. So you're looking at about a three to four week turnaround. So when you place, when you place an order for this chassis, uh, we can get it as soon as three to four weeks, depending on how you configure it. If you've got a full on LT4 with uh, the, four inch lift with Willwood 16 slotted drilled. I mean, your price can be, you know, 85, 95, 105. But again, it's, it's, you know, Roaster makes a great chassis and we, we love their stuff. And, and we just felt like this was something that, that uh, filled a, a void in the market and a guy can get it in, in a short time frame, And, you know. Yeah. I mean, to think that you can get it in anything less than a month, right. Is that's amazing. So that you guys offer that. So what is the, I want to make sure you say it right again, SBMG. What's that stand for? Special Blend Motor Garage. 
Special blend mortar garage. It's a blend of a bunch of things. Yeah, it's the you know we kept saying this like, hey, it's just a really nice blend of the classic vintage, uh, you know, keeping true to the original designers of these trucks back in the '60s and '70s, but with that modern couture, the modern performance, the reliability. We want them driven every day. Well, sometimes I like getting in my old truck and and believe it or not, just kind of the old crank, right? But to know that you can get in and have. I mean, everything from your iPhone to charge up, to the power, to the shift on the fly. Uh, it's it, it really is the best of both worlds. Yeah, keeping all those creature comforts. You get the wireless charger in the center console. You just drop it there. Yeah. Connects to the dash. I mean, yeah, we want it to be used. Well, the double din dash. They offer a double din dash. It's really nice. So you want to put a double din. These uh, 67 to 72s are great. They drop it down in the middle. We'll get some B-roll of that. Sean, uh, where can we follow you? So there's a couple different options. So... Uh, Vocal Motors on Instagram is our uh, our brand. So if you want to follow the full design trucks, SBMG creates the chassis. Uh, we've partnered up with Classic Corner here in Mesa, and we we're just basically going head headstrong into this thing together. Okay, vocal like V is in Victor. C K A L. So uh, like it, it's it looks like because if you look at the middle two, the C K yeah. the. It, you know, it, was, it works. It, 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 vocal, V O C K L, Vocal Motors. Uh, get that online. Get that on social media or Classic Corner. They're out of uh, Mesa. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there an SBMG or that's just kind of special? Uh, a special blend on Instagram is our uh, uh, feed okay. for special blend. Uh, vocal Motors really is the kind of the eventual like we're merging. That's okay. going to be where you get the chassis as well as the full builds. So to get the chassis, you go to VocalMotors.com. Uh, yes. Okay. Make it easy. Uh, just trying to clean it up. So if you want one of these chassis, you want to see everything that they're doing, vocalmotors.com. Sean, thanks for taking time. Good luck. When does this run? This runs Saturday evening, so uh, 6.30, 7.30 p.m. This will drop after. We'll pay attention to it. Good luck on Saturday at 6. I hope it brings everything and if not more than what you're expecting. I hope so, too. Thank right. you. Thanks, Sean. What do you think? What do you think? Some of the baddest builds. I mean, honestly, these three interviews are, are just really, really high-end trucks. And you kind of have the gamut, you know, with uh, Freddy's truck, you've got more of a pro touring, 67, 68 style. And then with Brian, you got a Slam Crew Cab Dually Diesel. And then you've got a modern style chassis on a 72 K10 truck. I mean, really the gamut on this one, absolute stunning builds. I would take any one of these trucks. I had a great time chatting it up with these guys. Hope you guys enjoy the pod. Again, let me know if you like this layout, the way I'm kind of doing it. Until the next three drop, C10 Talk out. Late.